up guys um this is an update excuse the car that it looks like this i'm actually taking the body off the frame i'm gonna do this so i can finish um welding and cutting where the transmission mount is going to be um i actually welded the motor mounts um i'll provide the link i actually just paid 30 dollars from for these v8 universal mounts from amazon uh I'm not the best welder. I'm actually learning how to weld. I actually bought the Lincoln 4140C. Got a good deal on it. Paid, I think it was 620 gas and everything. But yeah. So <clears throat> right now, this is where it sits. As you guys see, it's almost dead on. And when we look at it here, it's like this because I have to actually lower the back, the transmission a little bit. <clears throat> I'm actually, I cut this from the water pump housing off to see if I can fit the alternator. I'm going to have to custom some brackets and lift the alternator just up a little bit <clears throat> so I can clear this. Obviously, when the frame is lower, it's right here. But that's one of the problems I'm seeing that I'm going to have. I don't want to end up having to use an electric water pump because if this does not work I, I have no choice I'm already too deep in so <clears throat> the electric water pump you don't use this housing it's a flat housing and then the alternator goes on top of that housing and then you can route the water pump wherever you want that's gonna be hopefully I can just use the stock water pump the mechanical water pump saves me seven hundred dollars um, here <clears throat> there's another issue i bought some uh 1320 headers <clears throat> but as you can as you guys can see it's very tight here um i just do not see the old motor headers thing working uh the guy who actually i think did this swap a long time ago uh he did his motor mounts completely different where he welded uh he did four to two to one i mean he his write-up wasn't really clear so i'm gonna just do this my way if you guys are watching or thinking about doing this swap <clears throat> i'm gonna just end up probably getting a cast iron turbo manifold putting a small decent turbo on it i'm not trying to make 500 horsepower i'll boost i don't care five pounds and just so i can make one exit down this way <clears throat> if i have to cut the frame around here i will i'll cut it and weld it oh damn my hand got dirty but that's exactly what i'm looking at right now i'm trying to keep this stock location here for the clutch master cylinder and probably most likely run the turbo the downpipe through the back uh, another problem right here uh, I'm gonna most likely get a 90 degree angle so the oil filter is like at a 90 degree up here instead of here I know that the 67 no, 6607 filter is a very small filter but <clears throat> it's it's a pretty tight fit so that's another 90 bucks, I think, 90 or $100. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's going. The, uh, I don't know, the previous owner of this car, I think he covered this and put a different transmission where the other transmission was actually here, the shifter, and he covered the stock location. But the Miata transmission right there, fits perfect on the stock location i just have to obviously you know weld a patch back up to close this the previous owner i don't know he had an obsession with like fiberglass and i don't know he did a lot of suspect work uh as you guys can see right here i'm also working on i'm gonna excuse my welds i'm not the best welder i can weld thick metal way better than thin metal but I'm working on it uh, this I don't know 
I seen it wavy. I started poking at it. And I guess he fixed this by putting a shitload of fiberglass. But I don't know. You know, that's the only rust that this car actually has. You know, 56 years old. It can't be that bad. But as you guys can see, this is right here. I've welded this. It holds. Obviously, you need to seal this correctly. I need to still cut this out in the bottom. But other than that, pretty solid. And yeah, guys. So right now, what I'm going to work on is leveling the transmission and trying to install some type of bushings on it it's gonna it's very hard because the miata transmission originally on a miata does not have any transmission mount i'm gonna try to reuse a motor mount or that's the stock Dotson mount that's that or uh i had a i had the stock transmission mount for this Dotson. So I'm just going to see whatever works. If you guys have any ideas or alternatives, I, you know, you can comment. It'll help. But yeah. The only problems that I personally see is, like I said, guys, the water pump and the alternator combination. If it does not fit, I will have to be forced to get an electric water pump. The oil filter has to be at a 90 degree PLM makes a uh, 90 degree angler, um, oil filter angler. Um, that's two. Three, your exhaust. It's very, very tight as you see on um, the frame. The actual, ch the actual chassis is right here, which makes it a lot. It makes it really tight for any headers or all motor headers to actually make power, that make power for them to work. Um, not only that, that's two. No, that's three. That's the third problem. The fourth problem, the way that this whole transmission is set up for you to use the stock Miata clutch, ma uh, master, clutch master cylinder and your exhaust, that's something that has to be figured out or else, you know, exhaust gets very hot. So that's four and five, the transmission and how you're gonna put some type of bushing to dampen or you know the vibration because right now it's just literally sitting on the actual ch um, chassis and it's gonna vibrate and it does it can't work that way so so far we have about five super major issues that have to be figured out you know obviously we're gonna get into the wiring and all this mess later but as of right now I just want to make sure I have the motor mounts already done in the front. Got to work on the back. Well, the whatever I cut out, and then after I do that, I'm gonna record all that process. I'm gonna work on getting the correct alternator. I have to use a O9, a Cord or a TSX and up alternator, as the stock one from a TS 2004 TSX has like this system right here. Where it's just three bolts there and the tensioner actually provides the tension on the belt This is not the alternator that I need, but it's so you can get an idea This one is not a straight bolt in it has On the bottom and on the top it kind of like you move the alternator to provide the tension on the belt so we need one of these But this one does not work because this is for a uh, F series or H series, whatever. It doesn't work. But yep. Just keeping you guys posted.